Hello guys, it's DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Dino Maiko with 1,058 rating versus Mikey Pepper with 1,285 rating, so it's going to be another high-rated DB video, and hopping right in, we will see Den win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they'll decide to go first 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hands, we have Poplar, Imperm, Arvata, Snake Eye, Ash, Moonlit, they have Sprite Carrot, Sprite Blue, Slumber, Fountain Freezing, oh, okay, 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 so it's... It's fair. It's fair. This hand's good. I was going to say, like, one hand trap, pfft, we have to pass. Um, but they don't open up a hand trap. So, normal summon that Snake Eye Ash effect. Go search out Poplar. Summon Poplar. And then Poplar effect. Go search. That will go ahead and grab out the original Sinful Spoils. And then activate Snake Eye Ash. Go ahead, send, and bring out. Bring out Oak. And then new chain link. Oak, Poplar. Okay, special summon back out. Oak send itself plus Poplar. Bring out Flame Burge and then Flame Burge effect. Okay, onto Poplar. Now make Sunlight Wolf. Flame Burge summon back out two from the graveyard and then we get Sunlight Wolf. Never mind. Okay. Uh, sure, sure. Summons out Doolittle. Uh, doesn't add back off Sunlight Wolf. Okay. Okay, also decides to not go for the heat soul line, sure, sure, go up in the Appalooza, original, send Poplar, bring out Ponix, Ponix effect, go grab out Sanctuary, and then activate Sanctuary, go bring out Island, Island effect to go destroy the Arvata, go search out Garunix, and then new chain link, Arvata, Garunix, so special, bring back out Doolittle from the graveyard, and then Garunix effect to go ahead and destroy. So that will go ahead and destroy the Kirin. And then Kirin effect, summon back out the Arvata there. So I think if I want to pop, um, did they pop there? I can't tell if they popped or not. They didn't really say anything. I assume so, right? And then they just linked these off. To make princess, okay, and then summon princess, effect, summon back out the flame birds from the graveyard, and then go up in the whale, and then make world sea set, imperm pass, and then standby phase, yeah, add back ponix, so we did destroy, and then they start off with activate the fountain, normal summon out rex, and then activate rex effect, we are vata to stop that, so we want to destroy early, so that way we can summon out Garunix. Um, I don't know if we should have done that. Probably should have just activated Appalooza. But, yeah, because we could have held and then we could have Arvata destroyed Princess. I mean, Princess destroy Arvata. Summon Garunix, destroy Kieran. Kieran summon out Arvata. Pop a card, Arvata, destroy Princess. Whale, pop a card. Um, but yeah, they're going to go... Uh, any response to the Arvata? Nope. Destroy Ponix. And then new chain link. We're going to go activate Garunix. Special out. Effect to go destroy. And then they said okay. So go ahead destroy the Arvata off field. Effect bring out the Doolittle Chimera. Oh they only play one Kirin. Okay. Okay. Yeah they only play one Kirin. Otherwise they would have gone to the other one. Uh, which we also saw... Somebody, I'm pretty sure it was second place, at, or it, it, may, it may have been the first place list, at a Brazilian, like, 300-person regional, only play one Kieran. Uh, yeah, and people are trying to cut down on the Fire King cards to play more non-engine. But, okay, summon out Doolittle, and then special summon out Carrot there, and then special summon out Sprite Blue, effect, and then in response, they moonlit that. Okay, we don't even Appalooza that. We decide to Moonlit that. And then... Now they're going to go activate Slumber to special summon out Hugin. And then they're going to go activate Fountain Effect to go draw. Chain Princess to try to pop Doolittle and Carrot. They use Hugin to protect. So summon out Princess. They put back. They draw one. They draw into Donpa. New Chain Link. Doolittle Chimera and Whale Effect. So we're going to go ahead, pop Fountain. Yeah, it doesn't target. Um, but to be fair, did they even thumbs it up? Yeah, they just banished and then pointed. So like, yeah, 
They, they, I mean, they could have chained Friesen to go summon Hugin if they wanted to and protect there. Wouldn't it be the best thing to do, though? Uh, so now they're going to link off, make Donner, and then they're thinking on summon if they want to maybe imperm that or something. But they're just going to go Donner effect, tribute the summon back out, and then Appaloosa negate, chain freezing to go shut that down. And then they banish nothing off the top of their deck, uh, bring out Donpa, then bring out Rex, and then could have used Donpa effect to pop there, but we're going to hold it so that way we can Fogo summon from deck. Uh, well, activate Fogo effect, chain link one, response, no, chain Rex, summon out Donpa, and then one summon from deck, and then Donpa effect to pop, and then Fogo effect draw three. Um, but obviously when they activate that effect there, we can see the line, so we're going to go ahead and imperm. And then they admit the feat. So going on to the next game now, we will go ahead and see the Fur Hire Runic Sprite deck go first. We got Moonlit Chill, Skyburn in going second. I guess it is like Runic, uh, then Imperm, Valor, Poplar. They have Flashing Fire, Runic Tip, Destruction, Rex, and then Freezing. So activate Tip. Go grab Fountain, you know, guaranteeing that the hand, and then make him banish. Oh my gosh, the tip hits a Flame Bridge there, and it's only a one of. And then Normal Summon Out Rex, Effect, they Veiler, Activate Fountain, Activate Destruction, go bring out Hugin. Ah, uh, sure. So they shut down Rex, but like, really what Rex does is it grabs Rookie, and then Rookie goes ahead and brings out Beat. It just feels so bad to have the Valor that, especially, like, you know they have another Runic spell in hand since they went tip, grab, fountain, so then, like, they're going to be able to keep going, but I guess then you have more hand traps to try to stop them. Uh, so discard flashing, go search out fountain, and then put back, and then go draw, draw slumber, slumber, overlay, make mannequin cat, mannequin cat effect, uh... I mean, oh, okay, so on summon, they're going to moonlit that, sure. And then activate fountain, and then activate the freezing chain slumber. Uh, yeah, target the mannequin cat, make them go ahead, banish three. Uh, the reason why they're chaining the slumber there is because they want to go new chain link, uh, fountain one, and fangs two to add back, and they obviously just want to, you know, draw three. Uh, but yeah, hitting Island there is huge. So now we've gotten rid of like, you know, really good Snake Eye card. And, you know, the card that's going to make the Fire King stuff connect. So that's just not really going to work anymore either. They're going to bring out the Jerry. And then new Chain Link, Fountain, Jerry, add back, Fountain, put back, draw three. And then that draws into the Rex, Destruction, Flashing Fire. Okay, so now we're going to go set Flashing Fire, set Destruction, pass, they draw Black Witch, and then now they're going to go Imperm onto Mannequin Cat, Normal Summon Out, Poplar, Effect, go grab out the Divine Temple, activate Divine Temple, Chain Destruction to go ahead, pop that, make them banish four. Uh, that doesn't actually hit anything like crazy there. I mean, hitting Snake Eye Ash, if anything, is like good for this player because we can Oak Summon that back out. Um, so now they're going to go Special Black Witch, get rid of Skyburn, Effect, go set Original, uh, sure, so we set it here because we don't think that there's Imperm, otherwise they would have Impermed us at that point, uh, we're going to go Slumber on that Summon, hits Garunix, okay, so now that's like guaranteed out, even though it pretty much already was because Island was gone. Uh, now we're going to go Flashing Fire onto Black Witch, and then Fountain, go put back, draw three, and then this draws into Freezing Donpa Runic Tips, so make Link Karibo, Poplar Effect, Spell Trap Zone itself, then Original send Link Karibo to protect ourselves from a Freezing. We go for Snake Eye Ash there instead of Oak in the Ash. Uh, but sure, bring out, Effect, they Freezing, we chain Link Karibo. Yeah, I guess they don't want us to be able to Tribute to go Summon. Okay, we go search out Poplar, and then Poplar effect, go special summon out. Yep, that's fine, and then they just submit the feat. So moving on to the next game, 
we will go ahead and we will see the Fire King Snake Eye deck go first. We have Ash Blossom, one for one original. Ash Blossom, Bonfire. They have Don Puff, Fountain, Flashing Fire, Fountain, Sprite Red. Oh, that's just not looking good for them at all. Activate Bonfire. Go search out Snake Eye Ash. And then Normal Summon Effect. Go grab out Poplar. Summon out Poplar. Poplar Effect. Go search. So it's pretty much the same combo as game one except this time we also have the divine temple um that we can go ahead and search here so poplar go search out divine temple and then snake eye ash send itself plus poplar bring out oak and then we're gonna go oak poplar sure oak send itself plus poplar bring out flame bird are we just not gonna divine temple this turn then make sunlight wolf flame bird effect summon back out two from grave and then activate Sunlight Wolf effect, grab back Flame Burge. Okay, so, you know, learning from our mistakes, game one, getting the add back before the, you know, potential gain hit with Rock there. Now, summon out Doolittle, go up into Appalooza, original send, bring out Ponix, Ponix effect, go search out Sanctuary, and then we will go Sanctuary in the island. Yeah, okay, so we don't activate Divine Temple at all. We're gonna go. Island, destroy flame birds, search out Garunix, Garunix effect, special out, and then Garunix effect to go destroy. And yeah, we have the, since, since we do play Doolittle, uh, we don't go for Heat Soul, we can go ahead, okay, we're going to make the Link Karibo, sure, just put that in graveyard, make Princess effect, bring out the Arvata, and then Princess plus Garunix can go ahead and link off and then make Whale. They don't make World Sea because the opponent's deck doesn't go to battle phase, and then pass okay unfortunate that we did not make world c holy that is <laughs> that is uh yeah that is definitely a difference that is definitely a difference not having world c there um probably should have actually just made world c so that way we beat evenly since you know a deck like this is kind of known for playing evenly match in it uh yeah 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 we have a fire to destroy off our vata in the hand anyhow okay yeah because if they went battle end of battle evenly we could like chain world c to go ahead and like you know pop our own arvata there it doesn't really matter what else we would pop on our field but just pop our own arvata and then we can go ahead and Garunix and then get back to Arvata and then keep Princess alive and then still get to keep Appalooza through all that too. But now it's going to be like battle phase, end of battle phase, evenly go banish. We just keep the Arvata, activate Fountain, activate the Flashing Fires, summon out Sleepner, and the new chain link we're going to go activate Fountain. They're going to activate Princess to try to go pop. Uh, then they're gonna chain, yeah, they're gonna chain the Sleepner, and then we're gonna chain our Vata, destroy Ash Blossom, so destroy both those, bring out Princess, they put back, they draw Destruction, the new Chain Link, activate Garunix, our Vata, summon out Doolittle, summon out Garunix, Garunix effect, go destroy Kieran, Kieran effect, summon back out, summon out Ponix, and then pop Fountain, uh, yeah, Kieran Pop, and then they can get Ponix Effect to go search. No legal target. I sided it out. Set out the Skyburn going first. It's wild. Uh, then act. Because, like, it's going to be better than, like, a lot of the hand traps that you're going to have in, right? Because you can at least search it. So if you open, like, Sanctuary or, or Island, you can just go search out the Skyburn. If you open Skyburn, you search one of these. Well, I guess you're going to search one of these anyways. But if you draw one of these, then you can search that. Or, like, you know, the grind game's gonna come, you can search it, I don't know, like, being able to search something instead of having to, like, hard draw it, you know, it's, like, a lot better. Um, summon out Hugin, and then they're gonna go Fountain Effect, put back, draw into Rex, okay, special summon out Red, uh, normal summon out Donpa, Donpa Effect will activate, summon out Rex from hand, and now activate Rex Effect to go search for the Rookie Fur Hire, Rookie Tribute Rex. And then bring out B. If we try to Ash, they have Sprite Red. So we're trying to hold it. Uh, make Donner. And then B effect. Go search for the Raphael. And then 
beat, summon out, effect. Look at the top two cards. Grabs a fossil dig and then puts the phantasmate back. Fossil dig, go grab out Rex. Okay. Uh, now link off up into the Fogo effect. Yeah, if we try to ash that, then they Raphael negate it because they got to add Rex to hand. So now they're going to bring out Rex from deck. And then now, wait. Okay, wait, 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 yeah, 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 because they use the B, okay, yeah, 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 sure, 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 wait, 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 hold on, let me, let me actually double check, because they used the Donner, B, and Red, right, yeah, B, Donner, Red, okay, 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 just making sure, because this card does have a restriction on it, um, where you get to summon out one for hire with a different type from the three monsters that was used for its summon, so I was just, you know, double checking that they didn't use uh, Rex, and then try to summon out Rex from deck, but now Rex, Bring out Donner, Donner, uh, go ahead, Tribute, bring out Donpa, Beat, and then Donpa, Pop, Garunix, and the Fogo effect to go ahead and draw. They Ash, and then they Raphael stop that, draw Flashing, Evenly, and Slumber. So now from here, uh, they're thinking of what they want to do next. They're going to overlay, make Mannequin Cat, Mannequin Cat effects, summon out Ash Blossom. Mannequin Cat effect, target the Doolittle to summon back out Donpa since it's a beast. Okay, uh, now link off into a SP, SP effect, go banish Garunix, you know, try to just, uh, you know, stop that. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and summon Sky Crisis on top of the Raphael, and then activate the effect, bounce back Princess, uh, set Slumber, set the Flashing Fire, set Evenly, End Phase, Doolittle gets destroyed because of the Arvata, and then do a little effect to go ahead and add back the Snake Eye Oak. Okay, draw Snake Eye Ash for turn. Uh, we also have Original that can go search for a Poplar at some point. So we're going to go Standby Phase anything? Nope. Okay, Main Phase, Activate Divine Temple. And then they're going to Chain Rex to bring out the Raphael. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and spell Trap Zone. The Arvata. This only places a snake eye monster, not like any fire monster. Uh, looks like neither of them ended up catching it though. But okay, Donpa's gonna pop Ash Blossom. Raphael adds a Phantasme to hand. And then now they're gonna go Fogo effect, draw Phantasme, Harpies, and a Talon. So it doesn't have any runic spells in hand. Obviously, they do have a few runic spells set though. Now they're gonna go original. Uh, go ahead. Uh, grab out Poplar, and then put Flame Birds back to the bottom, and then Poplar effect, special summon out, okay, uh, tries to enter battle phase, uh, crash with the SP, could have maybe, you know, Poplar beat over the SP, and Ponix beat over Donpa, instead of trying to crash, um, they just said okay there, and then Poplar attack, now we're gonna slumber, Make them banish. Hits a Kieran from their deck. Oh, wait. They played multiple Kieran. Wait. Uh, maybe last game they sided down to one because they were just going second. I'm pretty sure it was game two that it came up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Oak effect. Bring out Snake Eye Ash, which is also something that you can do, you know, when going second. You know, you can side down Kieran the one. Uh, even, you know, you cut Arvata, you can side out Sanctuary, there's, you know, some things that you can definitely side out, uh, Snake Eye Ash, go search out Snake Eye Ash, mm-hmm, and then they're gonna go Poplar, Ash, and the Dark Charmer, and then they said any trigger effects there that you'd like to activate, you know, any Poplar, nope, okay, so Flashing Fire, Pop Dark Charmer, make them banish, and then activate Fountain to put back and draw two, so that draws Freezing, Freezing, Said GG's the sprite monster saved your game. GG's my hand was bad. Two fountain red. Don put one runic. Evenly helped me. Yep, but evenly was great. I mean it's my fault because I don't know what board uh to make evenly for with just Snake Eye Ash. Evenly is not a problem for Fire King. Can make a lot of interruptions through it. GG. Um, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they could have, you know, made the world C. Uh, and then that also would have put Whale in Graveyard. Which definitely could have helped out there. 
But, yeah, it looks like maybe they need to walk. I mean, they're doing the Doolittle combo. Maybe they just need to full commit and watch uh, Nesh's video on how to be evenly matched. Oh, God, yes. They're taking the Nesh combo but not watching the video. Oh, no. You, you got to full commit if you're going to commit, you know? But, okay, seeing how long the match was is about 50 minutes long. And with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.